In the previous video, you saw how client-side validation can be performed without writing a single line of JavaScript code. HTML5 has got considerable validation capabilities already built into it. In this video, I want to talk about transmitting form data to the server. In particular, I want to talk about the forms get and post methods. This requires that I add a couple of attributes to the form itself. I need an action attribute and a method attribute. I'm going to start with the method get. It's not case sensitive, but I'm going to put that in capital letters so that it stands out. And I'm going to specify an action. I need to make sure that every field on my form has a name attribute. You can see first name, last name, age. They've all got IDs, but they each need a name. The name can be the same as the ID. My radio buttons have already got names. And my select control has already got a name as well. This is really important because the get method relies on each control having a name. Let's see what the method and the action do, and then I'll explain what's going on. Reload the page. Enter some data. And I'm going to maximise the page. Let's not worry about the fact that it can't find the web page. It's looking for a home page called Index or Home on the website called MervinDrake.com. But there is no such website. But look at the URL. You can see that the data that were entered on the form have been appended. Now what I'm asking you to do is imagine that there is a web server somewhere that you can get to by typing in www.mervindrake.com. And on that web server, there's a page that will handle the data that I'm sending. You should also appreciate that this is not particularly secure, simply appending name value pairs to the URL. Now let's take a look at a different value which I can specify for the method attribute. I'm going to use the method post. And I'll put in a real URL this time. If I don't specify a page at the end of that web address, then the home page will handle the data which I post, if it can. Save the page. Let's go back, reload this page. Maximise the browser window so I can see what's going on. And here comes the post. Well, I've been taken to a website, the website which I specified in the URL, but there's no data appended to the URL. When you use the POST method, the data are included in the HTTP request packet. And I can see this if I inspect the page. Go to Network, All, and reload the page. There's my request. And if you look at headers, there are the data. If you're posting really important or sensitive data across the internet, normally the HTTP packets will be encrypted. You'll have a secure connection. So normally I would have something on that website to handle the data being posted. Perhaps an active server page or some other kind of page with a program inside it. 